In this problem, we are provided with a rational fraction and we need to resolve it into partial fractions. So let's begin. Now clearly, we observe here that the given rational fraction, this is expressible in terms of x squared. So that means if we let x squared equals to y, then we have x squared plus 1 divided by x squared plus 2 multiplied to x squared plus 3. So this can be also expressed in terms of y as y plus 1 divided by y plus 2 multiplied to y plus 3. So what we're going to do, we will consider y plus 1 divided by y plus 2 times y plus 3 and we will resolve it into two partial fractions. Two partial fractions, that's because here we have two factors, y plus 2 and y plus 3. So let's consider the first partial fraction to be a over y plus 3. 3 and the second one as b over y plus 2. Now we will multiply throughout with y plus 2 times y plus 3 so we get y plus 1 on the left hand side. On the right hand side we have y plus 2 multiplied to a plus the second term which is y plus 3 multiplied to b. Now let's label this as equation number. So this one will be equation number 1 and this one is equation number 2. So what we'll do? We will try to find out the value of a and b. For that, we have to use some specific values of y. So in the first case, let's try to find out the value of a. And that means we will try to make the second term go to 0. So if we take y plus 3 equals to 0, or simply put y equals to negative 3, then our equation 2 becomes, we have negative 3 plus 1 equals to negative 3 plus 2 times a. So we have negative 2 equals to negative 1 multiplied to a. Or solving for a, we have negative 2. Now, to find out the value of the constant b, we are going to take y plus 2 equals to 0. Or if we take y equals to negative 2, then we have negative 2 plus 1 on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, the first term is 0. The second term will be negative 2 plus 3 multiplied to b. So negative 2 plus 1, so that's negative 1. 3 minus 2 will be 1, so we have b, or we have b equals to negative 1. Now that we have the value of a and b, the equation 1 now becomes y plus 1 divided by y plus 2 times y plus 3. So that's equals to, so we have a value, which is 2, so we have 2 over y plus 3. And b is negative 1, so we have negative 1 divided by y plus 2. And finally, substituting the value of y with our original x squared, so we get x squared plus 1 divided by x squared plus 2 times x squared plus 3. So that becomes equals to, so we have 2 divided by, so in place of y, we have x squared plus 3 minus 1 over x squared plus 2. So this is going to be the final result.